Worse. Yeah. A little bit. I yeah. think it was a Japanese one I watched. At night in dark. Uh, don't ever watch a movie like that. Yeah, either. that one was pretty crazy because of the way the chick with the hair and everything. Yeah. And the, Yo, yeah, she, yeah. I think yo, I think she messed. Yo, she's got to had to mess up her own life. Like you can't even look in the mirror anymore after you play a part like that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like yo, you your part right now. She's no, she's no longer the cute girl. No, like you're not a cute like, little you're girl. Ty, you're officially typecast. You're like Urkel. Yeah, you're not getting another job. Yeah, for real. Imagine how her parents feel. Like you got that's your daughter. She's in this movie. She plays that part. And I'm so tired of hearing just random stuff <laughs> just going bump right now. Hey, this spooky, bro. I, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so gold. Yeah, for real. Let's get through this. Kind of, he kind of stole my thunder because he mentioned it earlier. Blair Witch Project. Yes. When I first saw that, I because I was one of the guys who thought it was real. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, they found some footage. Everybody, check this man. Look at it. Because they made it the the, uh, the, the, the trailers. The, the hype. Up yeah. to it, they, they had a website that made it sound like it was legit. It actually like, happened. Yo, these people went out to the forest, kind of like, you know, Goro finish type shit. They yeah. wanted to record everything, tell the story. They never found them, and they, but they found the footage. Y'all got to check this shit out. It's a documentary, and that's when I first started getting into documentaries. Yeah. So I thought it was cool, so I said, let me go check this shit out. Yeah, And bro. the way that it was shot was incredible because, you know, that, that was back in the day of camcorders and all that shit, so it was like fucking believable as shit yeah yeah and man and the way they had it set up like i like, can't it built up because it was like a couple days nothing happened so it was kind of boring and then all of a sudden shit started making started hearing noises in the yo yeah shit was creepy as fuck yeah i, I told i totally get it bro because hey, the way they you know it's it. funny he, him and, and bo actually tried doing that shit kind of like in ohio yeah, yeah. we got bootleg blair witch project bootleg version of i it. keep hearing about this but i want yeah, to see the that. tape that was like, yeah once it came out everybody was doing it yeah exactly i mean I, I wasn't trying to do that you know what i'm saying but shout out to anybody who was yeah that was top like easily the scariest movie i watched oh yeah so we're gonna run through some honorable mentions real quick yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you this. I got um I got two. Um one of them is a Japanese movie and I talked about it earlier. The movie is called Audible. That's it. It's just called Audible. And the reason it's scary is because I'll just give you one scene and once again, it's unexpected just randomness. There's a black garbage bag, right? And it looks like it has like a spotlight on it. So you're going down a hallway. You see the bag at the end of the hallway. So it's like a All dark gets, hallway? Huh? Yeah, dark hallway. The only thing that's lit is the trash every, bag? But the only thing that's Fuck lit that. up is that <laughs> trash bag. Fuck that. Right? So you're going down. Dude, when it comes to horror movies, the Japanese. Oh, yeah, they know what they're doing. Know what the fuck they're doing. They know how to scare the shit out of you. So anyway, you're going down the hallway. All of a sudden, the lights on the side start to dim, and you just become focused on the bag. It's a freaking bag, and it's getting closer. Closer, closer, <coughs> and then it moves. <laughs> it just moves like it, like, it, and it's not like a not like a, oh, it rolls around a little bit. It's like a boom, like it like hits, and you just like. There's so many moments like that in that fucking movie, bro. I don't think I've ever made it to the end of it. I've never seen the end of it. I've just Audible? been like, I'm about to check it out. Yeah, I've just yeah, fire sick. Let's yeah, do well, it. I know how to make like a scary movie. It's real simple. You either got to have it really super silent. Yeah, or it that's just, it. Or it just gets loud. I told you, bro. One, one, you kill the one sound. quick, one quick thing because this was hilarious. When I saw The Exorcist in the fucking theater, everybody jumped when this happened, right? So like, there was a scene where it was the scene after. Um, remember she comes down, she comes downstairs while her, the, I think her mom was giving the piano lessons, and she pees on the floor. Oh yeah. So everybody was like, "Oh, that's crazy, crazy, crazy." So everything got, you know, everything was getting quiet. Everything's getting settled back down. Phone rings. Yeah, I remember that. Phone just, like, like that, fuck. bro. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> dude. Everybody in the theater, you heard screams. You heard, oh, oh. <laughs> bro. Yeah, that's it was, how you got to do it, man. It's scary. Yeah. You got no, there's no music. Yeah. That's it's how just, it is with majority. If like you want something to be real scary, it's got to be dark, no sound. And then or suddenness. Or it's got to have that build. It's got to have suddenness, bro. It's suddenness. All right, um, honorable mentions, guys. You know what? And it's one of Bo's, Nightmare on Elm Street. When yeah. I first saw that shit, 
scared the shit out of me. Yeah, the first one was scary. That yeah, was scary. The first everything the, the, else got kind of campy afterwards, but that no, first everything one, else got funny. Yeah, they tried yeah. to make it more funny. Yeah, exactly. Which is uh, cool. They, I well, mean, I liked it. Except for Wes Craven's when they when they redid it and they brought the new Nightmare back, they tried to go back to they tried to almost make Freddy real. Yeah, the first two Freddies were scary as shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like yeah. the second one when he went to the pool party, that was yeah. that was pretty crazy. Yeah, honorable mention, Serge. Uh, it's not really a movie per se, but the Faces of Death series. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, Jesus, that's oh, one man. of those scary like yeah, like it could happen. Yeah. Oh, I just thought of one that it just reminded me of it, bro. Fucking Final Destination. Oh yeah, because all of that can happen. Like the very first one, all of that can happen. I really don't remember much of the first one. Okay, was so that the one with the roller coaster. Or no? Remember? Uh, no. no, no, no. The first one was the one he was supposed to be on the plane. Remember he had? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The plane. Yeah, he's he had the fucking just premonition that the plane was gonna go, and it and blew then up. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm not getting on the plane." And he fucking looks up, plane explodes. So he keeps cheating death, and everybody fucking keeps dying, and he's just dying like random, like. Like random normal accidents, and you just go, "Shit, that could happen to me." Yeah, like, <laughs> like the girl stepping off the street and get hit by the bus. She's just like, she's like, "I will not die." And then she stepped off the street, boom. and then boom, got hit by a bus. Wasn't that the one where like uh, they were driving in like one of those wood logs from the truck in front? Yes, and they swerved and missed it, and ended up on the train tracks. Yeah, trying to get off, right? Yeah, remember that shit? They were that trying movie's... to get off. They were trying to get off the fucking train tracks, and then they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. So they car wouldn't start. Oh, they of all, course. Remember, they all fucking emptied out of the car, and the one guy's seatbelt got stuck. And you're like, oh, shit, he's going to die. that. He's going to die. And then all of a sudden, his seatbelt comes off. They get him out just in the nick of time. And you're like, oh, shit, thank God. Piece of the car. Click, 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 click under the train. Gets shot out. Bam, cuts his head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> it could happen to you. Yo, for real. watch Final... Bro, the first Final Destination was the best one. They made five of them. Yeah. But well, the you know first what? I just thought they tried too hard. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember if it, it was... Not the original, but like the more recent, like the it was like the late 70s, maybe 80s, the uh, Invasion of Body Snatchers. Oh, Bro. Those were those were classic scary movies. Yeah, man. It's like your parents aren't your parents. Oh uh-huh. wait, what was the other one? The uh, the thing. Oh, oh man, you ever see the thing? Yeah, yeah, that, that was pretty scary too. Up. Yeah, bro. This... I was gonna watch that recently because I was yeah. That... You know, Predator was pretty scary when it first came out. Yeah, it was a couple. Yeah, so it was Alien. Yeah, Alien. Yeah, yeah Alien was super scary because just the way Alien looked. Yeah, and, like the the way that thing looked at that particular point. Badass, time. and then he took the mask off. I'm like, nah, dude, put the mask back on. Yeah, for real. It's just scary like, with the mask on. Yeah, he's just like, all right, cool. Like, uh, yeah, bro, I don't want to get too freaked out up in here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what's next? Where what's, are we going? We're gonna well, we're gonna play some music and then close it out. Oh, we're not gonna do a what the fuck because I really. Oh yeah, we could do a what the fuck. Okay, let's do that. He's like, please, let's do it for real. But For any those, real. Any of those movies can be found on Fire Stick. Yeah. Or, or at your local horror store. Or they just still have on those. Netflix, maybe. Go out to a place where you can rent a DVD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the VHS cassette. Don't forget that. Yeah, Redbox. Yeah, I That's guess. That's pretty much it. Cause hey. I can't. Is there even a Blockbuster around anymore? Nope. No. Those go, they those all got... Uh, Blockbusters gone. got taken over no by Hollywood, Hollywood Video. video. They are gone. <laughs> Which was gone to... Uh, to Redbox, Redbox, which has been gone to Fire Stick. Basically. <laughs> it's a the evolution. Oh, well, the Netflix, and then, yeah. Yeah, Netflix, Netflix and Hulu, and then Fire Stick. It's crazy how technology is. It just or takes if, over. If you're like me. It's fucking transient, bro. <laughs> if you're like me, you torrent all this shit to steal it from the internet. That's what everybody yeah, else does, it. bro. All right, ready? Yep. All right, so last week, if you were, or it might have been the week before, but if you were listening... California's on fire. Is it still on fire, though? California's still on fire. Holy shit. People, it's been a week and a half. It's been a week and a half. California is still on fire. Um, the area where they ha- they have 87% to, uh, let's see, I want to say it's like 75%. One area, however, Oakmont, California, still holding strong at a hot 27%. 
It's been a week and a half, and they have 27% of this fire under control in Oakmont, California. Well, at least they have a number this time. Yeah. Is that zero? It's been a week and a half, and they have a quarter of the fire under control. I don't know if anybody knows this, but California's on fire. Like, seriously. They're on fire, and they don't have control of it. It's not under control, people. So, literally, California's still on fire. I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? You got one, Brother Latino Heat? Yeah, yesterday, NBA. You just stole my thunder, you dirty bitch. I sure did. Sitting there watching the first game, the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, Boston Celtics. Yep. Not even five minutes into the game, Gordon Hayward goes up, comes down, and fucking twists knife on TV, and then they focused on the shit for like. He did what? Yeah. He twisted his ankle. He twisted, broke it. He didn't twist his ankle. He shattered his fucking ankle. Yeah. Whatever. There's a big difference between twisting an ankle. You twist an ankle, you you can can walk off the court. Yeah. You shatter your ankle, they gotta put a fucking cast on that bitch. Yep. And haul your ass off the court. And they kept zooming into it to the chagrin of all my fans. Oh my god. And to everybody that was watching it last night, we were all like, What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Cause he ruined FanDuel for a lot of people that night. Yeah. Can't lie. <laughs> Double with the man. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I'm actually trying to think, uh, do I have any? Trump, oh, yeah, I was on my. I, I, that's like the go to what the fuck is. What did Trump do this week, today? What did Trump do today? Who did he piss off now? Really? We're not. Okay, do you want a list of what he's. You want a list of what he's done? Because you know I got. I got a list of what he's done. Oh, let's not forget Harvey Weinstein. Uh, that motherfucker. Yeah, you can get you can get Weinstein. You can get Weinstein. You can get Trump. You can get Trump for uh, you know not being empathetic enough to soldiers. You can get Trump for uh, you know. <laughs> let's see. California, once again, is still on fire. Oh, He's and still then, uh, doing that. He's thrown Obama under the bus for not calling people, for not calling, uh, what was it, not calling soldiers, oh, not God, calling deceased soldiers. Yeah, bro, there's there's a lot, man. What about the fake wife? Oh, yeah, you that's know, right. You see that picture? He's got, yeah, he's got a uh, doppelganger wife. Okay. And then it's, he's so dumb. <laughs> okay, I'll do this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Trump did something to his wife. I don't know if he killed her. I don't know if he beat her to where she can't be out in public. But he had a stunt double next to him the other day. Yeah. This is how you know it was a stunt double. This idiot. <laughs> That's all. It's being nice. This idiot was saying, oh, and my wife, Melania, who happens to be standing next to me right now. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> like, do you have to say, like, we can't see her next to you? Yeah. Like, the, the, other, the last time he, he didn't mention her when she was standing next to him, and he completely didn't. He said she wasn't there. So this time, he has a stunt double next to him. It's obvious it's a fucking stunt double. Then he says, oh, yeah, she's standing next to me. As to be like, hey, maybe if I say she's standing next to me, people will, just people will believe me. Yeah. <laughs> believe me. Believe me, this is my wife standing next to me. <laughs> so I'm looking at this obviously fake wife, and I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? God, what an idiot. God, bro. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he, for real. He hurts my feelings, man. He's a, hey, yo, look. For everybody out there, bro, he's an attack on our homeland. Just saying. We're all Americans. We all live here. We all work here. We all get paid here for at least the time being. Fucking get involved because cause shit's going crazy do right something. now. Do something. Whatever you can do, do something. I don't know. Ever since he took over, it's been like crazy. Yeah. Hurricanes everywhere. You know, Ireland got a hurricane. Bro, it's been, Ireland never gets a hurricane. Bro, it's been like the worst. It's been like literally probably the worst eight months of a presidency. This is like yep. it's compared like Bush having the towers knocked down is like slightly he, above. Yeah, that. just a little bit, just a little bit. Because, Not too much. I mean, I mean, you Almost can't par. you can't help natural disasters unless you watch the movie Geostorm, which is coming up this weekend. Oh, I got another one. Hold up. So speaking of, you know, terrorist attacks, the whole shit with Las Vegas went down. And by the whole shit, I mean a bunch of people getting killed. Yeah. Uh, they're still trying to hold on to this narrative that it was just one shooter. And you can't. You can't hold on to it anymore. So there's two things that happened this week that blew my mind. One, one of the main witnesses who was there who said that there was two shooters. I seen them. I saw them both. There was two shooters. Magically was found dead in her apartment. Uh, and they don't know how. They're just like, oh, yeah, she was found dead. Another one, security guard supposedly who was there at the beginning who got shot and was exchanged fire with the... Supposed right. one shooter was supposed to do an interview, 
and just decided to just walk away before they ever started. Disappeared for a few days. Bro. Just disappeared. Nobody knew where he was. Today he popped up doing an interview with Ellen. You're going down a rabbit hole. And everything is kind of crazy. And it makes no sense. And I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? Enter the frog, man. Yeah. I don't want to get started on that, but man. Yeah, bro, because that's a... That's